This video is gonna be really boring, I apologize, but I have been wanting to make this video for a while, but then I didn't because it's super boring, but whatever, um, we're gonna make it. So if you read the title of the video, um, this is about having the Chalazian removal surgery, which I have had done a couple of times now. I started getting Chalazians when I was 19 is when I got my first one. Um, and I've gotten them kind of like randomly throughout the past seven years. I've been getting them kind of like on and off. They're really annoying and I feel so bad for anyone that struggles with these because I know how annoying they are. They can be painful and they're just really not fun to deal with. <laughs> I know every time I get one, my self-confidence is like all-time low because it's right on your eye. It's very obvious. Like it's the first thing people see when they look at you is this giant like red lump on your eye and I know how tough that is <laughs> to deal with. Um, I would not wish this on my worst enemy. But anyways, if you are one of the chosen few that get these lovely things like me, I recently had one removed and I'm going to kind of show you guys what happened and just like the process. If any of you are getting the surgery done or you're thinking about getting it done or you're worried about having it done, um, I've had it done a couple times and it's really not too bad. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. So I do have some footage of me right after the surgery. Just for reference, this is what it looked like before the surgery. It was pretty bad. It was probably one of the worst ones I've had. And this was me after the surgery. <laughs> okay, so I just got back and I just wanted to like let you guys know how it went and if you're getting this surgery what to kind of expect. The first thing, the doctor will put a numbing drop in your eye. And um, I've had this surgery done two different ways where I've had it done laying down and I've had it done like sitting up. So I'm sure whatever you're comfortable with, they'll accommodate. If you'd rather lay down, I'm sure they'd let you lay down. If you'd rather sit up, I'm sure they would let you sit up. But that just, I think, depends on the doctor. Maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> like I said, I've had it done both ways where I've sat up and I've laid down. I prefer to lay down. Um, and since having this surgery, I've had it maybe like three or four times now. Um, I prefer to lay down. So if you're more comfortable laying down, I would just tell your doctor that and I'm sure they would let you lay down. So anyways, they put the numbing drop in your eye. They let that sit for like five minutes. The doctor leaves. Then he comes back and then he does more numbing but with a needle which i know is scary sounding and like having a needle like come at your eye is a little frightening but it's really quick it does kind of hurt but it's not like the end of the world they do the shot in your eyelid like it's not in your eyeball or anything like that so my doctor kind of like picked up my eyelid they have you look down and then they put the needle in numb it up really good then the doctor leaves again for like five ten minutes so it can become really numb for the surgery comes back in um at this point your eye is completely numb so you don't feel anything at this point the doctor flips your lid makes like a tiny incision under your eyelid so you're not gonna have like a scar or like a cut on the front of your eye it's gonna be underneath usually i think in some cases they might have to do in the front but usually it's underneath so after they make the small incision they like drain everything out put a bunch of like gooby like stuff on your eye put a patch on and you're out the door so it's really not too bad it's about a 15 minute 20 minute surgery it's really not too bad it's just more like uncomfortable than anything else um but it's not too bad. So I just got back from mine. They told me that I had to keep this on for an hour and then I can take it off. So I will show you guys what it looks like when I take it off. <laughs> also disclaimer, there's like blood in this. So if you're like not into blood or blood makes you uneasy, maybe don't watch this because there is a little bit of blood and it just kind of looks disgusting. So if you're not into that, then maybe not watch this. <laughs> okay so i just i took off the bandage i look insane i'm well aware of that 
I took off the bandage about like two hours ago and this is what my eye looks like. <laughs> I'll get you guys up real close so you can see how disgusting it looks. Um, it looks pretty bad, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's still a little like numb, so it's not too bad. So yeah, this is what it looks like right after, a couple hours after the surgery. There's been a lot of like drainage. I look so gross. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Um, there's been a lot of like drainage coming out of it. Um, and like blood and just like a bunch of weird stuff. I know that's super gross, but just keeping it real. Oh my gosh, there's a nice up close uh, shot for you. Super cute. <laughs> so this is almost two weeks later and you can kind of see, I have makeup on so it's a little bit harder to see right now, but I do still have a little bump right here. Um, I don't know if that's gonna fully go away. Uh, I hope it does. <laughs> um, all the other surgeries I've ever had, they've never left like a scar or anything on it. So I don't know, maybe this one is gonna leave a scar. I don't know, but we'll see. I do have another appointment in a couple days, just like a check-in to see what's going on. If it's like scar tissue or I don't know what's going on with it, but I do have another doctor's appointment in like three days. So hopefully I can get some like answers on why I still have a bump. Cause normally I would say after like 10 days, it's like pretty much completely healed. At least for me, that's been my experience with getting them removed. Everyone's different, so it might be a little bit of a different experience for you. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you learned something from this or maybe not, I don't know. There's probably gonna be like four people that watch this, but if this can help one person or make them feel maybe less nervous, then I'll be happy. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>